day when you are moving from one place to another, maybe physically, like geographically, you are moving from Nigeria, maybe to the UK, you are Japan, <laughs> or you are moving from the UK to Canada, you're moving countries, you're moving states. Sometimes it's this um um NYC posting and it's NYC is like a youth service call that they go for in Nigeria. So you're moving from your states where you've been always familiar, you already learned how to live in that area, and then you're moving to a new place, it may be that you're changing jobs. Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. My name is Glory Yanubu and I think of our faith, family, food and music. Yes, welcome back to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, please do well to click the subscribe button already and turn on your notifications so that you can be notified when I post new videos. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Yeah, so guys, I'm holding my mic today. Yeah, maybe it's a new style or something. <laughs> or probably to think of the stress of having to fix it because whenever I want to fix it, I keep on fixing and fixing and it's not working fine so let's hope that this works well tell me you can hear me okay so guys welcome back to my channel today it's a faith video and i believe it's going to be a blessing to you so stick with me till the end of the video god bless you so um today we are going to be talking about how we navigate new seasons yes how do we go through new seasons in our life when we step into a new vision probably something god has laid in your heart to do and then you're stepping into it the first time a new vision a new job a new posting to a new area or a new environment you know or a new season as it regards to your life, maybe your birthday, um, as you step into new things, what should be, how do we navigate it? Like, what should be our posture towards our new seasons and everything like that? Now, I would like to say that if you have not, you know, watched my previous videos on um, profiting from your process, it's important to watch that because this video is like an offshoot of that video. Yes, this is just important for people who are, you know, you are beginning a new job and it's altering your timetable, it's going to alter, um, a lot of things about your life so how do you navigate it how do you go through it as a christian in this world that's constantly changing you get because you step into a new job and then probably you're staying so far you have to wake up very early it's affecting you you know your um private time out with god is affecting your quiet time it's affecting a lot of things and it's like you're struggling or sometimes it's looking like you're floating so how do you navigate these new seasons and that's what i'm going to be talking about today and if this looks like a video that you like to watch please watch till the very end and share with other people too because we are all at different seasons in our lives People start new seasons every day, okay? Every day is somebody's birthday. Every day somebody is stepping into a new vision, stepping into a new job, you know, going to a new environment, moving to a new country, you know, things are happening like that. And it could be a little turbulent, yes. So let's get right into the video. So the first thing I would like to say is that transitions are very turbulent, okay? When you are moving from one place to another, maybe physically, like geographically, you are moving from Nigeria, maybe to the UK, you are Japan, <laughs> or you are moving from the UK to Canada, you're moving countries, you're moving states. Sometimes it's this... um. Um, NYC posting and it's NYC is like a youth service call that they go for in Nigeria. So you're moving from your states where you've been always familiar, you already learned how to live in that area, and then you're moving to a new place. It may be that you're changing jobs or you're transiting in your career. It could be very, very turbulent. Okay. Or oh, formerly you're a teacher and then God is leading you to join this tech woman <laughs> or a tech guy uh, moving, transitioning, you know, following the area of your passion, but has called you into music and you've been dulling yourself doing something else. And then suddenly it's like there's strength to take on the new thing that God has laid in your heart to do, to begin your craft. You know how to sew, you know how to bake. God is calling you to something new and it's, you, you are stepping into it. How do you navigate that new season? Yes. So like I said, transitions are very turbulent. It could be a little shaking on your foundations, right? It could shake every part of you. Your faith can be shaking, especially those moving to a new environment where it's like, oh, you left behind your um spiritual family, yes, and then you are moving into a new place. It's like, oh, the way they do things, they are different. You get so it could be a little troubling. So prepare your mind to know that when you are transiting from one um phase of your life to another, it could be a little troubling. Yes, I I forgot to mention whether you are moving from your single lifestyle to your married lifestyle or you're moving from being single to being married or from being married to being a mother let me tell you transitions are troubling so how do we navigate this transition um phase and how do we step accurately into a new season that's what i'm going to be talking about so i'm going to be examining three p's and that will be all for this video the first thing is to pause yes when you step into a new season or before as you're stepping into a new season take your time to pause and what do i mean by pause i mean that you should breathe Yes, breathe. The moment you step into a new season, don't be in such a haste to, you know, get used to everything. Don't be in such a haste to be perfect in everything. Don't be in such a haste to just pause. Take your time to breathe. Celebrate what God has just done. Yes, celebrate where he has just brought you into. Celebrate this phase that you are stepping into. So in that moment of pausing, you take your time to breathe. Think back at where you're coming from and where God has taken you to. 
and where it's still taking you to. So it's your time to pause as you step into a new season. Don't be burdened with comparison to think that, oh, this person stepped into, for instance, you're a single lady or a single man, and then you're getting married, and then the moment you're getting married, it's like you want to begin to do something you think somebody else has been doing. Don't be in a haze to push yourself into things. Take that time to pause. The beginning of a new season, it's a time to pause, to, 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 you know, breathe, to think about where you're coming from, like I mentioned, and then where you're going to. And remember to celebrate, yes, maybe a little win. Probably you're moving from a job that is paying so and so amount to another one that is paying slightly higher and it's fulfilling your passion or your dream at that moment, at that phase. Celebrate it. Thank God for where he has brought you to. Yes, be thankful. So pause. Anytime you step into a new season, don't rob yourself of that um, opportunity to just breathe. You know what I mean by breathe? Take your time to rest. Yes, breathe. Celebrate your little wings and just breathe. Yes. The second one is to pray. The moment you step, in fact, uh, before you, you know, because when we step into a new season, it's not just that we enter into it suddenly. Yes, before that time, things would have been happening. You probably wrote a series of interviews. You probably, you know, God spoke to you. If you're stepping into a new vision, you probably, if it's a wedding or a marriage, you probably had planned a lot of things. So things would have been happening and coordinated into that final phase of you stepping into it. So through that process of, Everything that has been happening, you should have been praying. But the moment you are stepping into a new season, you should intensify your prayers. And what should be your prayers? Your prayers should be for wisdom to navigate that new season. Because every season, every phase of your life is peculiar. Okay, for instance, when you were single, you used to wake up to pray maybe by um 6 a.m. based on the nature of your job. And then now your husband used to work by 6. So you have to, you know, shift a little to like 5 a.m. so that you guys can align and then pray together. You know, or you're starting a new job. And before, your previous job is beside your, you know, your accommodation you can easily wake up by seven and get to work by eight but now you're going somewhere far maybe the new job is somewhere farther than where you are where you stay and then you have to wake up very early as early as you know five sometimes so you know that before that time you have to wake up earlier to prepare yourself so a lot of things will be happening that is changing you need to pray for wisdom Lord, I mean specific wisdom. The Bible says that if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of the Lord and God will give to him. So specific wisdom that pertains to that phase of your life. Yes, things might have to change. A lot of things will change. You know, you need wisdom to eat right because sometimes you get locked up in your job and then you forget that you need to take fruits, you need to take vegetables. So you need wisdom. You need to plan. Okay. So um, the first P is to pause. The second is to pray. So what are you praying for? You are praying for wisdom. Secondly, what are you praying for? You are praying for grace to meet friends that will help that season to be the best for you god is going to be leading you to people you're going to be meeting people you need to pray for wisdom to understand those who are just mere acquaintances those who are supposed to be you know friends and um, those who are destiny helpers people sent by god to help you navigate that new season so you need god to order your step god is going to be giving you um friends men gift of men in that season so you need to pray for wisdom you know to navigate that season and thirdly you need to pray to understand the purpose of God for you in that season of your life. Yes, what is it that God wants? So that you will not be feeling guilty. For instance, while you were single, you know, God, in line with your eternal purpose, God gives you a specific thing to do while you were single, or reach out to this and that and that. And then now you get married and going, God is saying, alongside with your husband, do this, or you alone do this, you know, so, so that you will not be feeling guilty that, oh, there was a time in my life when I used to do this and now I can't do it anymore. You need to know what God is saying to you to do. What is the purpose of this phase that I'm in? Or what is the purpose of this season that I'm in? So that you will not be feeling guilty. And so that you will not be where God was. Whereas God has moved, God is saying, do this thing. It's still in line with your purpose. But this is how I want you to express your purpose now. So that you will know, you know what God is saying to you at that present season of your life. So you need to pray to know what is the purpose of that season. What is it that God wants me to do? And then you also need to pray to know what God wants you to learn. There was a time where I got a job at um, a matron in, in a secondary school. Okay, so I was to work with young minds and be their matron, you know, house mistress kind of thing. Um, while I was to begin that job, I prayed and I asked God what he wanted me to go there to do. The very first night I spent there, I remember having a dream or a vision. It might not be dreams for you. Yes, it might be through any means. God can speak through any means. So I remember having a dream of what exactly God wanted me to do and then how apart from the job you know i was there to take care of the kids but then there is a purpose in the heart of god for every face we find ourselves yes yes you are in marriage to help your husband to be a wife to take care of your home to build a home for god but then there is a purpose in the heart of god that he wants to fulfill through that role that you are taking on okay so god spoke to me and then i knew what i needed to do at least before my time in that place you know expire so you need to pray to know the purpose of god your duty in that place yes connections you need to pray about people you meet and then you need to pray for grace because no one do does anything by their own strength you need to pray consistently in fact for strength as you're stepping into that new season so what's the third p the third p is that you need to plan yes the moment you step into a new season you begin to plan beginning from your spiritual life you begin to plan how 
you are going to navigate your spiritual disciplines, your prayer time, your Bible study time, your evangelism time, your everything about you, you need to put a plan in place. The moment your timings have stabilized, for instance, you know that oh, from seven to five, I must be at my job, or from this to this, the moment you have your time under control, begin to plan everything. You plan your spiritual exercises, you plan, there are still some um, spiritual um, disciplines that will still be sustained. For instance, probably you pray every time by 12 to 1, 12 to 1 p.m. Now you know you're going to be at work at that time, but then you can still pray in the spirit. You can still take your lunch break at that time and then use it to pray. So you need to plan your spiritual disciplines. You need to plan how you're, you're going to be eating well so that you can be the best in your health. So you need to put all these things in place. Plan, you know, your time, plan your everything you need to plan. You need to plan them. Then you need to seek knowledge. Every new phase you're stepping into, somebody has already gone through it. So why take your, you know, um, one of my mentors spiritually used to say something that many times we are struggling for something we could have easily inherited. You get something that somebody else has gone through, you know, people have gone through that phase. Yes. If it's a new career, there's somebody currently prospering in it. So you need to seek knowledge. You need to seek out people who have prospered in it. Ask God to lead you. And then in the believing that God is leading you, you get to seek out people who can mentor you even from afar. There are people who have put up their products online. You can easily check it. They, they, they put up themselves online for you to be able to be mentored by them, even without connecting with them physically. So they are in the same career or they've gotten married and they look like what God is painting in your life. Yes. You, you know, I, I mentioned before that you should see the previous video before you see this. Yes. Profiting from your process. See that video. Now, they look like what God is painting. They are not the exact picture because God does not, you know, repeat things so but then he, 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 there are patterns that look alike so you see these people you seek knowledge you check them on their social media platforms and then you are able to learn from them okay so you in, in your in your planning um points you ask um you seek knowledge yes you seek knowledge then thirdly you set up systems that work for you yes or so for instance you are beginning like i said transitioning into a new career probably you're a teacher before you're moving into tech or probably you used to be in tech before and then you're stepping into a new place you need to set up systems to be your best in that new way now how do I read? Okay, maybe on Saturdays by 9 to 12, I'll take my time to read. Oh, a, a new season can even consist of, oh, I want to um, begin to go to the gym. I want to lose some weight or I want to increase in my weight because my BMI is not BMI <laughs> or my, my, my weight is not what I want to get. So I want to increase. Any new thing you are taking on, you need to plan it. Yes. You need to seek knowledge and then you need to set up systems that work for you. Yes. One of the systems could be your alarm system. Yes. Oh, by 12 to 1, I need to pray. So you set up an alarm for that. Oh, a reminder every Friday, I need to do this every Thursday. So you need to set up systems that will guide you, that will keep you. Do you get? Systems include friendships that God has given to you. People that can watch over you as you um, navigate that new season of your life. Okay? So you need to, first, pause, like I said. Secondly, you need to pray. Take your time to pray. And then thirdly, you need to plan. And planning involves seeking knowledge, setting up systems, planning your time and so that you can navigate that new season very well. And this applies to every new thing you're about to start because new seasons, like I said, transitions moving from one season to another or from one um, phase to another or from one place physically itself to another could be very, very turbulent. So but if you do these things, it will help you, you know, to be able to settle into that new season and then begin to enjoy everything that God has for you in that season. Yes, I believe this video has blessed you. If you have any questions, remember to drop them in the comment section. I'll do well to answer them. And I believe that you're going to share this with somebody else. Yes, cheers to navigating our new seasons effortlessly and to doing all that God has laid in our hearts to do in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching this video. God bless you and bye-bye.